With the release of iOS 14 and the new home screen widgets, there have been a lot of apps that have been released and updated to support home screen widgets. But nowadays, it seems like this is a forgotten feature and you cannot actually find a lot of good apps with good home screen widgets. So in this video, I will show you guys some of those which I believe you must try out in 2023. And we're starting here with Widget Lab. Now this is an amazing app that offers a lot of different home screen widgets. We have three different examples right here. So we have one that shows different device information like the battery, the status of your connections and the carrier as well. And we have that really cool looking iPod controls right there. And then we have here one that will show you like different landscapes from different countries, which is actually pretty cool. Going into the app, you will see here we have a lot of different widgets we can add. So on the home screen here, we can explore them and we have things like system info. We can go here to music widgets, photo gallery, so you can add any photo you want. Then you will have clock widgets and you will have everything basically you need here, like, like actually quotes and maybe even customize your text and add it to your home screen. And you can see right here, different landscapes from Google Earth, which is actually really cool. Now, if you wanna add one, all you have to do is tap on it and right here will show you anything you need to know. If it offers any customizations for that certain widget, you can do it from here and then just tap save and you will have it saved under your widgets. Once you're done with that, of course, you add a widget from this app to your home screen. You can 3D touch in it, tap on edit widget, and then from here you can select whichever widget you want from the ones that you have actually saved. Next up is Overlook. Now Overlook is my favorite weather app when it comes to home screen widgets. The widgets look really, really cool. So we'll have three different ones right here. So we have one with the current weather and then we have the one right there with the forecast for the next three days. And you will have also a medium one which will basically show you both of them on the same place. So we will have the current day weather forecast right there. Then we have the next two days and of course the current weather which is actually really, really awesome. Now on this app, you can actually go ahead and choose any location you want. And that of course, that location then will be displayed on your home screen. Next up is G Info. Now this is a very useful app which shows you a lot of different useful home screen widgets. Now we have three right here. So we have the data usage and then we have the current storage of the device. And then we have like this panel right here that shows you all kinds of different stuff like the chip of your device, your iOS version, right there you will have your battery and the status of all your connections. And then here you will have the memory, you will have the CPU usage and of course right there the storage as well. Now this app offers a lot of different widgets from the IP address being displayed on your home screen with of course the network information. Then you will have the storage, the battery and everything else you might wanna know about your device. All of them can be added as home screen widgets. Subscriptions is up next. Now, of course, nowadays, a lot of services are subscription based. So you will probably have a few different subscriptions for your device. And this app will allow you to track them and of course, even have them on your home screen like this. So you can see we have a medium one right there and then we have two smaller ones. So you will have different styles with the two smaller ones. You can see this is actually real black. This is like gray. So if you have another sub subscription, maybe from Netflix, Netflix in this case, which is coming up, this would actually be all red. So it will match the color of the logo of the subscription. So right here, we have a medium and two smaller one. You can also have a bigger one with four different subscriptions so at all time on your home screen you will see which subscription is coming next and of course how much that will cost you next is top widgets now this is really cool you can see these awesome home screen widgets that you can have on your device you can also make them transparent which is actually pretty easy to do all you have to do is on your home screen you go to the edit mode and then you go to the last page on your home screen where there are no, there are no icons and you take a screenshot while on the edit mode and then you load it into the app i will show you guys how to do that right now but first of all let's take a look at these home screen widgets here you can see that clock right there how cool is that that. You will even have live seconds there, which looks really awesome. Then we have the battery one. That's pretty cool as well. And then we have a smaller one right there with the current date. 
the storage of the device and the battery level as well now going into the app here so if you go to the widget section right there you will have the place where you put that screenshot you just took you tap there add the screenshot and then of course when you add a home screen widget all you have to do is just choose its position by tapping on edit widget right there so you choose the position and then it will actually be transparent just like this so here on the widgets you can see we have smaller widgets right there and we have medium ones these are the ones that i have saved and if you go here on the home screen then you will find all kinds of different cool widgets which you can add to your home screen now a lot of them most of them are actually free a few of them are paid as well so you need a premium subscription to actually unlock those but most of them can actually be used for free next up we're going with widget now of course i know widget is not new and i posted almost in all my widgets videos but it actually is worth it because it has a lot to offer every day you will get new awesome widgets with widget like these ones right here so we have right there the time and the date and then here we have the music player which is actually really really cool now of course if you have widget on your device all you have to do is just install these widgets now to get these i will leave you guys a link right down below to a twitter account from where you can get these widgets for your device and then of course apply them to the home screen now if you want to get the transparent look again just like with top widgets you go to the edit mode go to the last page where there are no icons you take a screenshot and then go into widget and all you have to do is go to manage and then right here set transparent background you go ahead and load that screenshot right here and you're good to go now anytime you try to install a widget it will ask you for its position so that you get this awesome transparent look and you can see how cool the device looks with these widgets Aftership is up next. Now with Aftership, you can track your packages right on your home screen. So you can see right here, we have two sizes. We have the smaller and the medium one, and you can add the bigger one as well. Of course, if you have more packages to track, you can show more packages there. So here we have the smaller one, which will basically show you one package. You can get more here with the medium one. You also get that plus button right there, which actually works. You tap on it, it will take you to the app and directly to the section where you can add a new package to track so not only it keeps track of your packages on your home screen but it also allows you to quickly add any new package that you want simply by tapping that button the next one is called widget hub now widget hub also offers some really cool home screen widgets now you can see right here we have a few different ones so we have one with the current date and battery then we have the weather here and also the current time and then we have that really cool looking one right there with that emoji which displays the current time and of course the current date as well now going into the app you will have a lot here so let's just go ahead and go to the widget section which is right here and you will find a ton of different widgets which you can save and add to your home screen so you can go ahead and go to trending or just go into any of these categories right here and once you have found a widget that you might like and want to add to your home screen all you have to do is tap on it and then tap on set widget and it will be saved under your widgets now tapping on edit widget right here you will get a few options here where you can customize your widget and when you want to add it to your home screen you add a widget from this app and then go ahead and tap on edit widget and from here you can select any of the widgets that you have saved the next one is from google maps now i haven't noticed this but google maps actually has some really cool home screen widgets basically like a few days ago i took a look at the widgets panel and i found out about these i don't know how i just didn't notice that google maps actually has some really cool home screen widgets so we have one right there that will show your current location of course as long as you have location services turned on and you have allowed the widgets from google maps to actually use your location and then you can go ahead and start a quick search right there and then you will have a medium one which is actually more useful you will have the search one right there at the top and you can go ahead and quickly search for restaurants gas station groceries or coffee shops right there which makes it very very easy for you to have access to anything on the google maps directly from the home screen of your device and last but not least is steps plus now steps plus will display the steps that you have made with your iphone on the home screen of your device what i like about this is that it will show you the today's steps on this medium one right here and then the weekly steps right there it will show you all the days of the week and with those bars it shows you basically how much steps you have taken during that day 
so you will have a medium one also that just shows just that just the week right there and the amount of steps and you will have a smaller one with the rings that looks kind of like similar to the one that apple offers which shows you the current steps for the day so that's basically it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to download any of these widgets make sure you go ahead and check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one